President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden met on October 22nd for the last debate of the 2020 presidential election. Predictably, Saturday Night Live riffed on the event in that week's cold open. Jim Carrey returned as Joe Biden, and Alec Baldwin was back as President Trump. Maya Rudolph, taking a break from portraying vice presidential candidate Kamala Harris, instead played debate moderator Kristen Welker. It is the honor of a lifetime to moderate the second and praise Jesus final presidential debate. And I do want to say a very good evening to both of you. Before the debate, President Trump attacked Welker in an attempt to undermine her credibility. Kristen Welker, she's a radical Democrat. Look at them, they're getting angry. But I've known her. She's been screaming questions at me for a long time. And uh, she's no good. Baldwin's Trump was similarly disrespectful. How would you lead the country during the next stage of this crisis? What a nice question. Thank you, Hoda. <laughs> and can I just say you're really doing a great job? Wow, it is creepier when you're nice, but thank you. No, really, you're taking really good care of us tonight. Uh, now, could you just tell us about the specials, please? Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Trump, I'm the moderator, not your waitress. Oh, okay, then just some waters then, okay? This <laughs> thing. The first presidential debate was marked by frequent interruptions by the president. This time around, the candidates were muted for part of their opponent's answers. The debate commission will then turn on their microphone only when it is their turn to answer. How does this mute button work? Uh, do I just uh, haul off and slap them in the mouth? The candidates responded to questions about race. Makes me sad. Because I am, I, I am the least racist person. I can't even see the audience because it's so dark. But I don't care who's in the audience. I'm the least racist person in this room. I'm the least racist person in this room. I've done more for black people than anyone else except for maybe Lincoln. Wow. And black people love Lincoln and his cars. I see them driving his cars all the time. Kate McKinnon reprised her role as the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani alluding to a controversial appearance in the second Borat film that raised questions this week. If this is another Borat, you gotta tell me if it's a Borat. And Saturday Night Live couldn't resist pointing out Joe Biden's reliance on a folksy response to the president. Come on, this guy has a dog whistle about as big as a foghorn. Can I get a come on? Come on! Oh, that is fun.